All right, we're live. Uh, no intro again. I'm still afraid of it. And uh, <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. As a, an announcement, sort of, our dog got the clip. Um, the, sn the snip. The snip, yeah, this week. And he has a cone on. So everything that's been bad about him running around here while I'm trying to draw before is so much worse now. I don't know if you can hear the cone smash around my office. <laughs> Hopefully he'll fall asleep. So I don't know. He don't I, care. He really does not care he about that cone. He don't care about that cone. He just drags it everywhere. It's a, it's a nightmare. I mean, he seems fine, but yeah. So just ignore it. It's going to be what it it's is. More distracting I know. than it is for anybody. So today we're going to be drawing Warhammer uh, 40K. Who is Warhammer? Warhammer are the most awesome costume designs of all time. That doesn't tell me who Warhammer is. Okay, it's a, it's a. Oh no, no! Oh, jeez. It's a tabletop game, and you get figures of Warhammer. People paint them beautifully. It's like, a, and it's it's a, like Dungeons and Dragons in a way, but it's more strategy based. It's a game, it's and not many a other video things. Game. It's not it's a not comic. A, book. It is also a video game. I'm sure it's also a comic. Actually, I'm not really totally aware if it's a comic. I'm sure it is. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of but things. But basically, all you can tell me is that it started out as a tabletop game. Right. Otis. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. He's going to pull your light over. Oh my God, Jason. Oh, it's a... well, it's over now. <laughs> I'm not even going to worry about it. If it got a little darker, that's why. <laughs> it's not going to damage your. Ah, uh, dogs. What were we thinking? We were thinking. He'll be so great outside. He he'll is. Be, he's, yeah. a, he's amazing. He'll be Come so on, cute. Cutie. Come up on the... So, yeah, thank you, everyone, for coming How tonight. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun, despite oh. the dog. I'm really looking forward to this despite one. Despite the dog whipping his cone around. Yeah. Allison <clears throat> McGlone is a super chat for $1.99. Oh, I'm sorry. Allison wants to know, can you draw a cipher? The best dark angel. Uh, yeah, you know, actually, I think that'd be a lot of fun. So, and we're we're still playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I have he been, why well, no, and I'm, I mean it. The problem is I've had a few things that have really just been kind of on the back burner a little bit because I've had so many conventions. It really has been, like, for instance, I have a new video for the channel and it is actually finished. I edited, I got the rest of the editing done today. It's way later than I said it was going to be. It's, it is what it is. I mean, I, I had deadlines also that kind of, when I don't, when I do a convention, it takes such a whole lot of the schedule that I end up catching up with work stuff and it, it cascades. And so I have another video. It will be up tomorrow. It's actually, it's edited. It's, it's ready to go. So it'll be up at one o'clock Eastern tomorrow. Dave, before you get really started, I'm yes. going to read this. Um, sure. Oh, so yeah, Meredith got uh, a text from message, or, a, a message. This is on Facebook. Yep. Okay. From Tom Morris. He says years, uh, years ago. And yes, I mean, years ago, a little boy gave me his very special comic that his hero had just signed for him. He asked if I could draw his hero for him on it between the other signatures. Well, uh, at, Uncle Tom promptly lost the book and with no hope of ever finding it. Uh, aided by the untimely death of his hero and the superpowers uh, prednisone provides, uh, I tore the tattoo shop apart until I found the holy artifact for that dear young man. I was happy and honored to finally get this done for Anthony. It's my first ever watercolor sketch, and the paper is not good. <laughs> At least now it's it's precious, not good. I'm not reading it. Um so yeah, here it is. It's it, I think it came out great. It's a beautiful watercolor. Hopefully you can see it there. The closer I go to the camera, the more out of focus it gets, unfortunately. But yeah, the colors are really beautiful. So Meredith wanted me to show that to you guys. So there you go. Very, very nice. So yeah, thank you, Tom. All right. Here you go. Take your phone. I'm going to throw it at you. Oh, thanks. All right. <clears throat> I saw we had uh, a lot of you guys here. I can see uh, Russ X is here. <clears throat> Dennis Kelly's here. Dan Genovese, Simon Kucher, Tom McCart is here. Uh, Dan DeSantos is here. I, I saw that um, Jimmy Reyes is here earlier. I don't know if he's here now. He's got, he's got responsibilities, so he might have had to go, but he was here earlier.
and Meredith is typing. I'm sorry. It's all right. How do I change? I accidentally changed a theme on Facebook on a DM. How do I change it? Oh yeah, totally. There we go. Allison changed it for me. (laughs) There you go. Great. I'm helpless. It all works out in the end. Yeah. All right. Let me get back to the stream here. See if I miss any super chats. Oh, me I'm extending. I promised an announcement tonight too. Yeah, that's right. When you want to do that? Whenever you're ready. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure I don't miss super chats hanging out. <clears throat> Dan DeSantis is here. He says, "Always working alongside you, Dave, even if I'm not chatting." Yeah, it's good to have you here, Dan. We need to paint together again soon. Um, hopefully, I don't know. I, I don't know what Dan's schedule is like, but we haven't done that for a little while. It'd be nice to do it again. And we have a sur- super chat from Sergio Juncom for five reels. Hello from Zell Master David Finch. He was a great master of the comics and a great inspiration for my drawings. Well, thank you very much. And hello from Canada. I think we're in the same time zone. Pretty much. If if we're not exactly the same, yeah, it's pretty close. All right. So roll the drum roll, whatever. I can't do anything. I got nothing. But let's do the announcement for the winner of the Finch Logo Challenge. First of all, I didn't even know how many entries you got. I didn't count them. But you were surprised. A lot of entries. And we have them all. Are you putting them up on Facebook? I'm going to put them up on Facebook. I did like a word else document where I copied and pasted them all and identified whose entry it was. Yeah. And I'll turn it to a JPEG if I can or a PDF and I'll post on Facebook. But first, I'll do I'll do the first runner-up. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to start with honorable mentions first. <coughs> so I have two honorable mentions. Honorable mention goes to Brandon Edlin, who did the most adorable little pony with Finch sitting on his bum. And another honorable mention goes to Joe Barnhard, who had a beautiful gypsy banner pony over the words Finch Farm with a little Finch in there too. That was a tough decision. That was a tough one. It really, actually, it really was. We we kind of argued over that one a little bit. First runner-up goes to Alan Deaton for some beautiful logos with Finch Farm. Super professional. And drumroll, the winner of... Hold on, hold on. You got applause or something? Yeah, okay, go. The winner of the Finch Farm logo contest is Luke for Wardson. When you, I'm going to post all the logos. When you see it, you'll be like, that's Meredith. It just suited, it was me. Yeah, it, it's a beautiful logo. I mean, we got so many I mean, they're incredible. They're all beautiful logos. Yeah, they like, really were. It was so amazing. Many logos. But Luke, Luke's was the one that, as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's it. That's the one. But it was an, inc- like, it was a difficult decision. It really was. We fought about some stuff and yeah, it was like the, the number of the quality of the submissions was like, I was, I, I, they were outstanding. Yes. I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm touched. Everybody who submitted something is going to get something. I don't know what. I haven't figured that out yet. We'll make it work. <clears throat> We'll talk about it. And obviously, Luke gets a commission. Yes. Uh, you know what? Uh, maybe this one, I think, would be a good choice. I want to paint it, though, if it's all right. I'm going to paint this one. We'll, we'll talk to him. So, all right. Let me, so, I'm going to save this as a PDF, and then I'll post it to the Finch Block Facebook group. Congratulations, Luke. File, save as. Okay. So I think if I save it as a PDF, I should be able to post it. I have a pretty good idea that you're going to end up going to bed before this is done. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is going to take a little while. Back. We have Eric here, right? Eric's here. You're so mean. What to you? Trying to get rid of me. <laughs> no. You're like I have a feeling I'm gonna get rid of you tonight. Toma Hinnick has a super chat for four thousand HUFs. Meredith and Dave, thanks for the awesome stream. How would you draw combat boots and gloves? Oof. Okay. So combat boots. Uh, I actually. I have an old pair of boots that I use for reference at times. And uh, so I'll, I'll take those out and they're not combat boots, but I can kind of extrapolate uh, reference for something like a boot. I'm going to give you an example. And actually I did this in the uh, clothing video that I just finished, but here's a, a shoe from behind. And so here's, here's the heel. I'm going to draw my heel out from that. So there you go. And then it has quite a bit of shape from there. Um, the actual rest of the bottom of the shoe. Um, I ran into the same problem with the video. I don't know what that might be called. But it has a, a shape that kind of goes like this. Uh, so from the side, I'm not even drawing a combat boot. I'll get there. But um, the toe comes up a little bit comes up here, the heel is actually raised, and then you've got your your heel of the boot. Uh, so there you go. And that can actually create, I, I find, like I, I think that worked out fine, but for shoes like this, a lot of times I, I take up my own boots and I use them for reference. It just makes things easier. But that said, I'm gonna draw a boot really fast. So here it is from the front. Uh, here's my, my foot. I'd like to uh, curve the, the toe upward a bit just gives it a little more shape i'm going to follow along that with my this will be my tread just like this and then my heel will be here and then i can go ahead and just put in my um tread on the on the boot some artists do this so well they actually give it a little bit of motion uh i i don't do that um and then you can see just a little bit of the bottom of the tread here. And now for my my laces, they're going to go here, down here, and then um, you have the toe of the boot here. So there you go. The heel goes here, maybe a bit of a stitch portion here. You can give it some some little creases and folds along along here too. And here's the top of my boot. And so that's all fine. The next thing that I did, this is my favorite part about this. I, so I'm going to draw my laces. I'm just going to do this first. We might not get to the glove because this boot, there's a, and it gets much narrower here because obviously you're, you're looking at it at an angle. So here we go. And now I'm going to connect from this point up right, to, it. okay, great. Like this and just create X's. I guess I could have just done X's in the first place, but whatever. Here we are. Here's my X's. Uh, I'm going to start cheating down in there just a little bit. And now I can create my, these are the holes that they kind of go in like this. And now I'm going to lighten this down and I'm just going to draw the negative space. So here's one lace. Here's my other lace coming out under it. The dog's dragging his cone below me. And Here's the, I'm going to break it there, a little more shadow here, <laughs> dog is such a train wreck, and uh, I'm going to connect into these shapes here, and you just have to kind of methodically go through this, and the more uh, accurate you are with that, the better the boot ends up looking, um, and then from there it's it's just going in. I'm going to double this line up and just give it a little bit more character, kind of give it a little bounce so it's not just a flat line. The same thing in here underneath the laces. I could draw some, some little hits of shadow in there and get some detail, but that's really basically all there is to it. Uh, reference definitely can be very helpful, though. For gloves, um, you're just drawing a hand. So here's my hand. Here's my fingers. I'm just going to draw this flat. 
And I would say this is where reference really is your friend. So here's my thumb. Uh, I've got a seam here, a seam along my thumb here, and then there'd be a seam here inside the fingers. You really wouldn't see it too much here. And then I can draw, I'm gonna give them a, like a plate right here, maybe give it some, some detail. Uh, I'll give them a, a strap up here. And I'll give him some some armoring for his knuckles. And that's basically it. The rest is just detail. It's It really is just looking for, for appropriate reference. Um, yeah, I hope that's helpful. All right. Next super chat comes from Tomic Art for $1.99. Tomic says, zoning out as I draw with you, Dave. Best community. That's the way to do it. And Jamal Rashid has a super chat for $4.99. Hey family, I was sad I missed the last one. I was truly tired due to work, but I'm here for a minute I drop. God bless your talents and your family. God bless Jamal. Thank you very much. Once again, always appreciate it. We didn't see Jamal last week, but we were here. Was it Tuesday? No, we were here on Monday. Maybe we did. If we did, I apologize. I don't think Luke is on the stream tonight. Figures. It's always how it works. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to be going through with a pencil quite a bit and just trying to rough in some of this detail. This I'm actually cheating a little bit. It's it, you know what? Nah, I'm going to do it this way. In the picture that I'm looking at, he's got a different pattern than the. Dan DeSando says, "Oh snap! If I knew the winner got a cousin painting from Dave, I would have tried a lot harder." <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I can't believe, first of all, I can't believe Dan did one. And it was very, very cool. It really was. It was just cool to get one from Dan. It yeah, was, it was really awesome. very, very. It was awesome to get so many, like yeah. just overwhelming. Adam Meyer has a super chat for $5. Adam says, hey, Dave and Meredith, happy Monday. Dave, that Venomized Spider-Man you posted the other day is amazing work. Oh, thank you very much. I have a Wolverine that I finished. Um, you know, I'm just going to show you guys. Meredith doesn't like it. See, now I'm going to make excuses for it. Yeah, you can stop doing that. I, I told you not to do that. Anyway, here it is. So, yeah, um, I finished this last week. Uh, this is part of the problem. I'm so obsessed with painting right now. I have all these deadlines that I need to be doing, and I am doing them. But then this kind of, this is, yeah. You know, this is how it goes. But this is kind of my hobby too, right? So I need to, you know, do it a little bit. Anyway, this is the painting that I just finished. I was very proud of it. I am very proud of it in a lot of ways. Uh, and it has a background, something that I have not been doing lately. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, there it is. That's All right. And speak. Always yes. throws me when you go quiet. Mystery Meat has a super chat for four forty nine. Whoa! What the heck? Never thought I would see Mr. Finch draw forty k stuff. Have you seen the trailer for Space Marine Two? And you, do you know any forty k lore? Uh, okay, I'm going to be honest. My forty k lore is is not so strong that I would want to start bragging that I know forty k lore. <laughs> I'd get called out pretty fast. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to go too far with that one, but. Uh, I haven't actually seen the trailer. What I'm, you know what, dog. What I'm, I'm really okay. I say, it's just scratching. It's all he's doing. Just scratching. <laughs> he's trying to scratch. He can't. Poor dog. What a nightmare. Um. All this detail will look a lot better in a minute, by the way. So yeah, just bear with me while I just sketch in the basic shapes. Um, there's a, a Warhammer game coming out that I'm dying to play. I'm going to play it, but it's on Xbox. I don't have an Xbox. I have a PlayStation. So I'm going to end up having to buy an Xbox just to play that game. And it's going to be worth it. Do you have one in the basement? It's Xbox, the new one. I want to say Xbox. Uh, are you sure you can't just like play in the basement? It's no. No, you actually, it's its only like for the new one. Excuse to just buy a new Xbox. 
So anyway, I'm going to have to get an Xbox. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. An excuse to buy a new Xbox. <clears throat> Whoever needed an excuse. Yeah. Puppy. Oh, puppy. Throw in a little perspective just puppy. so I kind of know where I am. Off the computer, puppy. Okay, there you go. Look at this. I don't even want to look. Insanity. Look at this insanity. <laughs> well, hopefully you'll stay there for a while. Yeah, because I'll just hold my computer on my. Don't you feel like, like we have a, precarious an thing. obligation to be kind of professional, you know? No, this is part of the fun of the right. stream. Yeah, I'm the sure. Puppy crawling all over me with this cone of shame. Christopher Twin has a super chat for $5. I just don't want to drop my computer. You critiqued my pages a while back on your stream and it gave me confidence to keep working. I'm now starting to work on published work. Thanks. Well, congratulations. That That's is awesome. great. Congratulations, Christopher. I always, I remember um, all of the artists that I was able to get a critique from, uh, you know, some were, were better than others, but they were all, they took their time to, to do that. And it always meant a lot to me. And so it, it was really nice to, to hear that. And it, really, it's great that you're, uh, you're turning it into a, you know, a passion into a job. It's a, it's a tough transition and I, I wish you the best. Um, I mean, it's, it's the dream, you know, it really is, but it's also, it's work and it's a responsibility. I'm sure you're finding that, but uh, I'm sure you're having an absolute blast too. So congratulations. It's great to hear. FYI, the response of the stream to your painting is sick. Ah, well, thank you. What's with Logan always going au natural? That is incredible. <laughs> That's insane. The painting looks great. Too cool. Wow. Awesome. So very classic. I like it. Geez, you're getting so good. I well, see a lot of bizzling in you. that. Yeah. Well, okay. Look, it, this That's reminds me. Dan DeSantos. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Dan. Look, I love Simon Bisley. I'm a huge, huge fan. And I've spent years trying to paint like Simon Bisley as best I can. Uh, and I don't even care if it makes me uh, some kind of two bit, you know, copy. I don't care. I wanted to paint like Simon Bisley for years. And it's, it's been like a passion for me. Um, so yeah, thank you very, very much. All right, that's gonna be enough sketching, I think, to be able to get in there and start to put in some, some drawing. And it's 823, I didn't actually do as badly as I thought. Oh, thank you, Mr. Me. It's for PlayStation 2, Dave. Is it really? You don't need to I thought it was an exclusive. You don't need to get a new Xbox because it's for PlayStation 2. Uh -huh. Just point the microphone at him. Puppy scratching. He's supposed to wear this thing for two weeks. We'll be lucky if we can get through one more day. Uh, yeah, he's had it on. How long has it been? Since Wednesday. He got Since done Wednesday. Wednesday last week. If you're watching the stream to relax, I apologize. <laughs> this has got to be so stressful to listen to. Oh, yeah, puppy. And hopefully some of you guys are drawing along. I know uh, Warhammer is, you know, <laughs> it's a big ask to sit there and sketch. I'm feeling that. But... Oh. All right, Greg Al Static Art has a super chat for $1.99. Greg says, hey, Dina, I'm finally not at work. Hey, there you go. That's awesome. And it's Monday, so, yeah, you know. That's awesome. It's the foot on the computer that bugs <clears> me. <throat> well, good to have Greg no, I here. I don't have your stream anymore. I have some other YouTube thing. From the dog? Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh. My hand's feeling a little stiff. All right. Next subject comes from Andy Skeleton for 25 Mexican pesos. Tip for studying the Loomis method. I just got the book. Um, yeah. Okay. So that is a very, very good question. I think he has a lot of really incredible information uh, that he, you know, that he's got written down in the book. Uh, so it's, you know, the, the, Drawing is, is great, and it's what you need, I think. Um, but he's also got a lot of incredible advice. It covers so much ground. Uh, so, you know, you're looking at, uh, and it depends on what you're looking at, too. He's got figures. 
Uh, he's got a whole book on heads. He's got a book on cartooning. Uh, and then it goes really much more into uh, a lot of illustration techniques, uh, perspective to such a precise level, uh, far more than I've ever been able to use or, or really need. Um, there are things I'm sure I could benefit from, and I, I have studied them, so I have some understanding of them, but at the same time, it's uh, working to a deadline. I just, I can't possibly um, measure up my perspective to the, the extent that he does in the book, but it is a very good thing to know and understand. I always recommend uh, SketchUp is a great tool. There are 3D tools that you can get to draw cars and draw different things and you can put things together. It's a great tool. I recommend you try it, but I don't recommend that you do that and not learn how to do it properly yourself. Uh, I rarely actually use SketchUp. It's like, I'll just generally draw cars, everything. Basically I just draw for the most part. There are times if I have to draw a round room, for instance, uh, trying to do that without, without uh, help from a 3D program, it's hard. It's it's a tough one. So I, I um, use it for that. I think the last time I used SketchUp, I did a, a um, Predator cover for Marvel. And it had the uh, Avengers Tower. And it's like a curved, it's, a, it's not a flat building. And I really wanted to make it as accurate as I could make it. And so I just mocked it up in SketchUp quickly. Stream Baby says, your hands will feel less stiff with the new Xbox. See? Oh, there you go. Dan Lassard is here with a super chat for $5. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Finch, and hey to the flock. I hope all is well with everyone. Yeah, things are good. I know Dan's been talking to uh, to Eric, and I, like, I'm totally out of the loop right now. I need to uh, talk about so We're doing so much airbrush, too. Like I need to... Uh, give Dan a call and see how see how you're doing. I, I miss him. So yeah, it's good to hear from you, Dan. Jim Klein has a super chat for five dollars. Dave, out of curiosity, do you have a plan for what chapter of Space Marine this will be? The chapter of the Marine impacts the iconography of the armor. Um, okay, look, I'm going to be honest here. That's this is why I didn't want to say. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm like an expert in in uh, Warhammer lore, so. I hope you guys will bear with me when it's not perfectly accurate. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be the best I can do. Anyone want a free dog? Stop it. Look how cute he is. He's super snuggly since he got the snip snip though. He really is. It turns out also he has hip dysplasia which uh, he's had some hip issues. Uh, he's been, he'll come in from outside and he cries a little bit and he's kind of in some pain. And we were hoping that it was just like a transitory. He just, you know, injured himself a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, he's got hip dysplasia, which is a lifelong condition that we might have to surgically repair at some point, um, which is a, it's a hip replacement to, to repair it. So um, he seems pretty good now and we'll just have to play that one by ear. So that was kind of the, when we got him snipped, we, yes, we checked yes. on that too. And it was definitely unfortunate to hear. Is there an extra table I could use? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. And I can't take my hand off the computer because he gets squirmy if I don't pet him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on, puppy. I know, I know, I know. See, it's for me because I'm not petting. Yeah. Yeah, he can't settle at the best of times. This is not. Thomas Spring says, I'll take the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Meredith would kill me, you know, otherwise we would have a deal. Yeah, nobody's taking my puppy. Nobody's taking my puppy. Nobody's taking my puppy. It's way more love than my kids right now. Poor kids. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, no, puppy, no. No, puppy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can't get it. All right, baby.
<laughs> Sorry about that. I had the microphone pinned to my chest. Nobody can see you. Know. It's all right. I just got a full on dog lie down. I'm going to have to do this on my phone. I know I say this sometimes, but this is so not how I envision the stream kind of being, you know? Real life. It's, it's life unscripted. There we go. I got YouTube on my phone. That's how it's going to have to work tonight. Let me find, find you. Hold on. Search. David. Can't be the only person who watches this on their phone. David Finch. David Finch, there's your, that's your channel. Monday Night Draw. There's the chat. Oh, how do I mute myself? There we go. All right, here we go. And I got the chat. All right. Wish I had my glasses, but we're good. All right. So I'm scrolling back up. And the last super chat I see was Jim Klein. So I'm good. We're good. All right. Look at that. Jumped right back in. Right there. No problem. It works with the dog on the lap. Instead of having to fight with the humongous puppy on, and the computer. We're good. Tyler wants to know, hi, David Meredith. Would you ever have Michael Alfred on the show? Or Allred on the show? Michael Allred. Uh, yeah, that would be really, really interesting. Uh, it would be fun to draw a Mad Bam. Uh, I know my boss actually when Mark Silvestri, my old boss uh, from years ago, when I uh, when I was at Top Cow, did a, a Madman kind of a was it a crossover? It might have just been a Madman cover. Anyway, it was very very cool. And I've never actually met Michael Alred. That would be a lot of fun just just for that. So yeah, for sure. Artisan nineteen seventy nine wants to know, Merrick, do you guys have a nickname for the for the puppy? My kid sister calls her Eng English Springer Spaniel Goose, and my best friends call him the Oreo. <laughs> we call him Odie sometimes. Yeah, mostly yeah. just Otis. Yeah, yeah, Otis was a name that just worked right away. So it did. It, it, it works for him. Nettlewood Park says one of our dogs had hip issues as a puppy, but recovered on her own with time. The story wasn't going to keep her, so my sister rescued her. I will say this. He has hip dysplasia, but the vet couldn't... One of the, the tests of hip dysplasia is to actually pop the hip joint out of the socket, and he could not get the hip out of the socket. So that's good. Yeah. The hip's in there. Yeah. Time for the ruler. Yeah, I think... Certainly, he for a while he's going to be fine. Uh, we'll see how that goes long term. It's like a sauna down here. I've been working this condition. I know. I mean, I'm outside all day, so it feels extra hot. I open the window, it, so I've got a heating vent right above, and it doesn't close. And when the rest of the house is warm, it gets so hot down here in the winter. And uh, yeah, I, I open the window all the time. Scott Yamamoto says, tonight is filled with chaos. It is. Tonight is filled with chaos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be fair. Yeah. Our lives are chaos. No, they're not. Yeah. You know what? We do the same thing almost every day. We don't have chaotic lives. We really don't. And I got corrected. It's his best friend, not best friends, that call the Springer Spaniel Oreo. Uh, friend, not friends, Meredith, because Artisan only has one friend. Uh, great. Sorry, Artisan. She jokes. Uh, Cross Contour says, David Finch, have you ever talked to Mark Sylvester about how he's inking the new Batman book? Is it all super fine micron? Uh, I have, and yes, it is. 
it's all super fine micron uh very painstaking and it's it's a beautiful effect so yeah i actually have asked him that specific question um he's using the nicer ones this is a disposable one he's got the nice uh quality ones that word I know. You know what? It's There's not that much in there. So my garbage just fell over. And I have it up on a shelf to keep it away from the dog. I should probably... You know what? I'm going to fix it because this is not really bad. Lest you think that this is a professional situation. <sighs> like, Nobody's thinking that. Nobody's thinking Nobody's that tonight. That. Not tonight they're not. We're thinking, wow, what have I got myself into? Basically, at this point, we are like, you ever watch Hoarders? Yeah. <laughs> and you watch it, and you like for a bit, you actually feel a lot better about yourself because you're not that bad. And then you just start to feel, like, you know, wow. yeah, it's it's just too much. Wow. Well, tonight's too much. We've, we've hit cross the bridge too far. The Three Eyebrows has a super chat. He's sticking with us. Hey, Mr. Finch, have you listened to Rob Liefeld's podcast? I recently discovered it on Spotify. And has a lot of interesting industry stories. Uh, I have before, yeah. Now I haven't for quite a while, uh, but yeah, I have. Uh, he's he's very entertaining. He's got uh, he's got a lot of very interesting ideas. So yeah, he's a lot of fun to listen to. He's a lot of fun to talk to. It's funny, you know. He's he's. Uh, um, I don't know if they're still close. But I have no idea, but. He certainly was a, at one point, and maybe still. I actually, I truly have no idea, but he was good friends with Tom McFarlane, and they're so similar. Like they, uh, both of them, you know, can just talk about anything. And we have a super chat from Rich Ware for two dollars. Have you invited Mark Sylvester on the stream? He's awesome. I have. Actually, I saw Mark. Um, I can't remember what convention. It was a couple of conventions ago. And uh, I said I'd like to have him on. And so he said tentatively, maybe. Uh, the problem is it, not every artist is is really set up to do a live stream. And it's, it's a commitment to get the camera and get everything all set up in order to be able to draw uh, this way. And so that's, I find the biggest barrier that I have to getting some guests. And uh, so hopefully it will work out, but I don't know. Fingers crossed. That would be amazing. Uh, it'd be amazing to have him on just to, just to talk to, you know, about some of the old days and some of his recollections. Um, you know, I'm sure it'd be so different than what it was like working there uh, at Top Cow, you know, being in charge and kind of seeing, you know, a little bit more of the nuts and bolts. Uh, so yeah, I think it'd be, I think I blew that shape a little bit. It's going to be dark. It'll be fine. I'm not erasing. Number one trick, Meredith, never erase what you can just shadow out. Beautiful. I follow that rule when I put on my makeup too. <laughs> yeah, perfect. It's getting a lot harder to shadow things out though. <clears throat> just sits in the lines. Greg L. Aesthetic Art has a super chat for $1.99. Tips on adding the delt to a torso, especially three quarters. Um, all right. Let's see. Hold on. Okay. So now we've kind of covered this a few times. Um, and I'm thinking, like, how can I how can I show this in a bit of a different way? Uh, from a so I'm going to draw three quarters. Here's my body. And this is my, um, basically a vest method. I'm going to cut in like this. And so this will be, I'm, I'm really using a Loomis method for this. My chest is going to come across here and attach just like this. And so that all makes sense so far. Uh, my clavicle is going to be here. My head's going to be, you know, basically like this. And uh, I've got my neck here. I might have went a little here. Let me give him a little more room for a neck. Went a little short. That's his nose now. Okay, so his shoulder. 
Um, the first thing I'm going to do is his uh, shoulder bone goes just about here. Um, if that helps, I don't really actually draw a bone for that. Um, uh, you know what? I'm just going to do it the way that I do it because I don't do any of that. What I do is I'll just draw basically a ball here. So here's a ball. Here's a ball on the other side. And then my arm comes down from that ball and attaches to the bottom of it, just like this. You can imagine if it was a robot, that's basically what I've got, just like that. And so uh, obviously a, a deltoid is not a ball. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and shape it more like a deltoid and just go again with, with some very, very um, simple hard shapes. And so it attaches essentially like this. And that's when it's down. Uh, when it's up, you know what? <laughs> we only have so much time. I, I can't draw from every angle. But when it's down, that is a really good way to just break it down into a, a simple shape. But obviously, uh, that's not the, the end of the story. I think I went a little short with my chest, too. Let me just give that just a little bit more uh, depth, length, whatever. Make it longer. So uh, I've got my chest here. I've got a bit of an indent here. This is where my chest muscle starts and my shoulder starts. Uh, the deltoid cuts in like this, comes up, and it kind of makes a bit of that kind of a shape here. Uh, let me clean this up. And then you've got three heads. So you've got a, a head here, a head here, and you can't really see the, the rear head. Maybe I could kind of cheat one in there just like that. Um, I never draw them quite like that so cleanly, but that's a good place to start. A really important point, though, to bear in mind is right here, because your deltoid actually connect all the way from down here connects up across the chest. And so you have a striation here. You have another one here. And then they actually break here and start to go this way. And so they radiate out from this point, not all the way from this point, really. This is kind of the important point to connect your deltoid into your chest muscles. And I mean, obviously, detail is going to you know, take you a whole lot further than something that's just like a simple, you know, graphical representation. But that really is uh, how the connection works. And just bearing those few simple kind of landmarks, like this landmark right here, just under the clavicle. And this landmark here, just this is where I'm going to turn my chest. Uh, so it, it because it's it's got some some width here. It has it at the bottom, too. Uh, so, yeah, that spot right there is where your striations come from. This way, you're not just drawing straight kind of striations across the chest in, in a random way. Uh, it's a good thing to bear in mind. So hopefully that is helpful, Greg. It's not working. Try it. Well, that's no good. I've got lots. There we go. Hmm. Prepared for that eventuality. All right. BBR has a super chat for nine ninety nine. Hey, David, can you explain how to draw the abs when the torso is bent and how the legs connect to a bending torso? Whenever I try, it's a mess. Thank you. Um, how the abs connect when the torso is bent. Yep. Okay. How do you draw the abs when the torso is bent? All right. Uh, hold on. Let me finish this little area in here, and then we'll go into that. Greg says that was extremely extremely helpful okay good i'm i'm glad okay um okay so drop my pencil but it didn't break all right so uh i'm gonna uh draw my torso here's here's my i'm still on the page yeah i'm gonna draw this shape just bent over so now this is my neck hole and the whole thing, you're seeing it in perspective, just like this. This is my center line here. Uh, my one arm is going to come out from here. My other arm is going to cut in here. My clavicle is here. My chest is going to be just about like this right here. So let me fix that because my portions are off. 
this always happens to me, by the way. Uh, when I start actually, I draw these simple shapes. And when I start putting things on them, I always have to make adjustments. It's just part of it. And so if I draw a head, it's going to be basically right here, like this, because it extends out from the neck. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. So I want to bend this guy over. And so what I'm going to do is the first thing is I'm going to imagine this is like a, a sack. And so here we go. If this was like a, a sack of potatoes, it would wrap like that. And that's actually a really kind of a useful technique just to kind of get that bend in there in space, in kind of 3D space. So just to throw that in just so you have it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and, and draw in my pelvis here. And so he's bent over quite a bit. And my legs attaching, by the way, uh, just like this. You want to make sure that they are. I've got a my pelvic bone here and here, and my leg extends out from the pelvic bone. And so you want to make sure your legs are coming out of there. It's very common. I'll see a leg drawn all the way in underneath, like tucked under, or this leg tucked in. You need to actually um, draw in your pelvis, draw the holes, and it can be very helpful to draw those pelvic bones to line the legs up to them. So here's my body bent over to my hips. I'm going to draw a center line down to my hips just like this. My stomach is going to connect just in like this. And so what I'm doing is just drawing in, this is like a framework. So they're going to be in here. And so now it makes it much easier for me to get those established because I've got a, a place for them in really 3D space. And so I'm just going to lighten this down just a bit. I've got my chest here. My uh, rib cage is here. When you bend over, you really don't see your rib cage. This is a, a bit of a tough one because generally speaking, comic artists will draw that rib cage. I do it no matter what angle you're at. I'm going to avoid that here because you really don't see it bent over at that angle. So I'm going to try and be a little bit more correct. Give him an arm. All right. So uh, for a stomach, I'm going to draw my center line. I'm going to go like this for my shape. And you'll notice that Stomachs don't just round, they have a, a real shape to them. And it's kind of like this, or certainly close enough that that will get you what you need. So there's there's my um, <laughs> top stomach. These all have names, right? I don't know. Here's my next one. And um, my bottom one is going to connect in just like this. And then my um, pelvic area, I'm going to draw just as like a uh, a piece here, like a cod piece, essentially. It's it's a good kind of a um, stand-in to give you that shape. And so I'm going to connect into my serratus here. And that connects into my lats. And then you've got your big muscle here has a name I forget. Somebody say it. Help me out. Anyway, and here's the other side here. And there you go. That's really the connection for the stomach from that angle. It really, in order to make it work, it really comes down not so much to the stomach that I drew on there, but those delineations to start. So you want to start with a, a 3D form and a, a sack kind of a shape really is very, very useful for that. So it's curved this way here. It's about flat here. And then it curves this way here. And now I'm drawing my stomach along that. And so my stomach fits right in there, and that makes it much easier to establish it. <clears throat> All right. Thank you. Navy Sharks is a super chat for $5. Hey, Dave and Meredith. Hello, Finch Flock. Dave, what is your more favorite Christmas movie? Die Hard 1 or Lethal Weapon 1? Um, this feels like such a loaded question because I know there's an argument about whether Die Hard is even a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. That's and not a. If Die Hard is a Christmas movie, then Lethal West should put up, but it should be a Christmas movie because it has the Christmas tree in it too. Okay, whatever. I'm willing to call Lethal Weapon a Christmas movie. That's right. fine. So which one's your favorite? Uh, I, I got to say Die Hard just because I've seen it 
so many more times. So clearly I like it more. I don't know if that's just because it's on more. It's been a long time since I've seen Lethal Weapon 1. I need to watch that again. And the mullet's coming back too, right? So, you know, uh, Mel Gibson's hairstyle, it's... Not for anything positive. The mullet's not coming back for anything positive? Uh, I don't know. I know, like, friends of ours, their son has a mullet. Yep. Yeah, it looks he good. Call a hockey hair in my house. Yeah, he plays hockey. Well, there it does. So there you go. Rike Inglays, one, two, three, is a super chat for $5, five euros. Hey, Dave Meredith, I can't go all the way today because I get a new tattoo tomorrow morning. Oh, I'm nice. Coming back for this later. Dave, drawing Mac can't be missed. Uh, thank you, Rike. I really appreciate it. Good to see you here. Good luck with the tattoo tomorrow. So he's got somebody else tattooing him tomorrow, it sounds like. Or is he doing a tattoo? Is he? He says, I get a new tattoo. So, yeah, he's got somebody giving him a tattoo. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how it comes out. I have to check his Instagram. Yep. I always do. The only time I miss Instagram is when I don't have my phone, which is a lot, truthfully. <laughs> you know, uh, when I posted the, the last thing I posted, I think was the Spider-Man. Um, that was the first time I had my phone in my hand for a while. So... Yeah, I'm not the best with that. Cross Contour says, David Finch, Walden Wong loves your channel. Has he reached out to you to do a collaboration stream? Um, No, and actually, I think that'd be a lot of fun. I'd really enjoy that. And I've known Walden for years. I actually am a big fan of his channel. He's got a lot of great inking information. I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, I learned quite a bit about how to use some of the tools uh, for inking when I was, you know, starting to try and ink. My, the dog's got to go here. You just want some love. Yeah, yeah, you're doing great. Thanks. All right. I can say all right, I want all I want. He, it's not like he just goes away. No, no. Otis. Otis. Oops. Otis. So much of this detail. I'm trying to get a picture so I can post it to the flock. Okay. Of what? Oh, of Otis. Yeah. So much of this detail will come together quite a bit in the lighting. The outline phase is always a little bit flat. Okay. Dog, seriously. Not there. The problem is once he starts, it's so hard for him to turn around because of the cone. Here we go. I'm posting. Monday, night. <sighs> he found my mirror. He did. I love that dog. I know he's so cute. Yeah, he's great. What would we do <laughs> without him? All right, next super chat. Um, while I was posting, the stream went ahead without me. Next super chat comes from Adam Meyer for five dollars. Dave, do you find French curves helpful? Um, yeah, sometimes. <clears throat> I'm so lazy. I don't use them much. I kind of fake it usually. There are times I have to, but yeah, I'm, I'm not the best with those. And part of it is I, I've been a penciler for so long that you can kind of rely on an inker to do that. So I just fake it and then, you know, it ends up looking great. Now that I'm making my own work, I'm I, there are times I just have no choice but to break one out. And I've got a range of them. So, you know, ideally, uh, I've got what I need when I when I need it, but I hate using them. Feels like doing math to me. And Luke for for Woodson is here with the super chat for four nine nine. Luke says, "Marathon Dave, thank you. I'm extremely honored and thankful to be recognized by people I admire so much. I love you guys and all the flock members." 
Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you very much, Luke. Thanks for coming by. And thanks for submitting the logo that won. Yeah. Yeah, it came up really, really well. And it was such a tough decision. There were so many that were so good. My favorite Christmas movie, in case anybody cares. Uh, yes. Is Rise of the Guardians. You and said, it's not even really a Christmas movie. You said that last week. Did I say that last I week? I think so. Yeah. I think I say that all the time because last year you drew drew the Santa from Rise of the Guardians. Yeah, that was your choice. Yeah. Warhammer, this is definitely a stream choice. And next week, when do you do when are we doing the let me just look at my calendar? Because it might be the Christmas stream might be next week. Because next week is the 19th, and the week after is Boxing Day, which we won't be streaming on. I think we're, we might take – and then are we taking January 2nd off too? No. We're streaming January 2nd? Yeah, because – so you do something January 1st, right? Or, well, December 31st, then okay. January 1st is the next day. Okay. January 2nd, that's a whole other day away. Right. So, so we won't be streaming on the 26th because that's Boxing Day. So next week is when you're drawing the, the Bumble. From Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh, oh, right. Remember? Okay. You said you wanted to draw the abominable snowman. Yes. From Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Yeah. Oh, and also I have uh, two streams coming up, one on my channel and one on a different channel. We're going to be announcing very, very soon. We're uh, just finalizing everything right now. Uh, two special Christmas streams that I'm really looking forward to with an incredible artist uh, and a great teacher, someone that you all know. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So that's coming up. Uh, very, very soon, too. I don't even know about this. <clears throat> don't I know about this? Uh, I don't even know about this. Maybe you don't. It's actually totally possible that you don't know about it at all. Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to hide it from you. But, yeah, totally possible. I haven't even mentioned it. Ruler. There are times a ruler is just easier than faking it. Here's a really good example of where when you work with an inker, I can fake these in and then an inker makes it all nice and clean because I'm making this myself. They end up not becoming clean and uh my inking it definitely suffers from that i am way too lazy to take out the ruler way too often so it is a factor i i, I really should be a little more careful with that but i hate using a ruler it's hard to change when you're old <clears throat> all right yeah i know that The older you get, the more stuck in your, your routine you get. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Next super chat comes from Black Tiger 001 for $5. Late to show work. Going to watch from the start. Small thing, but I'm excited. I'm working a new logo to replace my Black Tiger. Have it up next Monday Night Draw. Awesome. Well, looking forward to seeing it. And thank you. And uh, I'll see you in, you know, an I hour. Can't wait. I can't wait to see it. See his new logo. Sheldon Martin has a super chat for four nine nine. Put a Santa hat or mistletoe above the guy for all the December drawings, if you're cool with that. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm not putting a Santa hat on my Warhammer guy. I mean, I see where you're coming from, but no. Richard M. 8422 says, January 2nd is a normal day. 
a normal depressing day because all the fun is over for another year. No more Christmas for a year. No New Year's for a year. You know, I'm actually really looking forward to Christmas this year. More than I do a lot of years. I think I just, so much traveling at the end of the year. I'm so burnt out. It would be just nice to be home. And, you know, it's a lot of putting up with, with family. Uh, but it would be worth it to be home. I love you guys. I'd be thrilled to be here. You know that, right? Are you complaining? Nope. No, not allowed to complain. Ross Klein says, hi, DNM. I would love to CNC route a logo for you guys if you're interested. I don't know what that means. Um, that's like uh, metal working, like metal using like a, I guess it wouldn't be a mold, but it's like creating something. Oh, okay. Like, like what we kind of got for our fire pit. Like something like that. Or like what Mark gave us as a housewoman gift with with Finch on it. Yeah. Like that? I think. Okay, I'm not totally sure either. We live a cloistered life. We don't know what anything is. Yeah, no, we're, we're, but that we're, sounds very, very cool. We're dumb. I'm having to make up a little bit of the detail here because it's just so dark. So. Oh, and by the way, it is 9.01. You know what time it is. Na, 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 na. Time for the book of the week. Time for the book of the week. All right, here we go. So this week's book of the week is Batman by uh, Doug Mensch and Kelly Jones. Uh, I had Kelly Jones on the channel a couple weeks ago. I'm very much looking forward to having him back very, very soon. Uh, again, just with travel and, and everything, it's been a bit of a gap. But as soon as we can get him back on, we're going to... Uh, do some inking together, which I'm very, very excited about. But we talked about this book quite a bit. He talked about the process of, of working on this book uh, quite a bit. So I wanted to just kind of go through this and show you really one of my favorite books. It's nice, actually. This copy here is a collection of a lot of his Batman work. Most of my, and I still have them all, but most of my Kelly Jones Batman stuff is so dog-eared and destroyed over the years. So it, it was really, really nice. I got this actually from DC uh, when I was doing, uh, uh, when I was under contract with DC and doing a lot of work with them, I always got uh, free books, which was awesome. So uh, yeah, this is some of my absolute favorite work. You can see just his folds everywhere are so incredible. I love this kind of design work. He does this all over the place. Uh, and I'm sure this is probably pretty fast for him to do, but it just looks so cool. Like this kind of thing here looks really, really amazing uh his lighting on faces and not just faces but hands figures everything is is absolutely uh top notch i mean like that is so great and it, it's so consistently great i i i wonder you know if any of it is is photo reference at all and it, it can be so difficult to tell and especially if it is if he is using some reference uh, he's integrating it with his own natural ability to such an extent that it it doesn't really uh, take away. There are times photo reference can kind of start to look a little, little bit referencey and kind of take you out of it, but it never does with his work. That is such a great Batman figure. I've never stolen that one. I need to one day. I mean, look at that. It's just amazing. And really every page in this book, I'm just flipping through you know the first issue right now. And it's just incredibly very, very, very cool work. I mean, that is such a great face there. And so much of my lighting, uh, the way that I structure my lighting on my figures really comes from Kelly Jones. It comes from Dead Man, but also from this Batman stuff. I was looking at this so much when I was starting out in my career. Uh, a lot of these books were really coming out uh, just before and around the time that I started working. And uh, I mean, look at the, just the way that he's got these folds uh, defined with his, his negative space is just amazing. It's... Yeah, it's awesome stuff. And I love the textures that he does too. He just did a cover. By the way, we were talking about the cover that he just did. And we'll be talking about that again when we have him back on the, the channel. But uh, all over the place, I love how he he textures this tree. And it looks really, really amazing. It's actually a really different look for him. It reminds me a little bit of maybe Michael Kaluta a bit. And then he's got the dark trees behind it. It's just, it's really uh, smartly integrated the way that he uses his darks and lights. And so he has a very, very dark style. 
very shadow heavy, but it never feels oppressive and it never feels like you're looking at a page and you just can't tell where to put your eyes. It's always very, very well organized. That is such a great shot there. Uh, and his work just has so much character, which, you know, uh, look, I'm a huge fan of so many different artists, but it's so unusual to find an artist like this. that It just has such an individual, uh, unique style. Uh, and you can see his influences. I mean, he certainly has uh, Bernie Wrightson in there. And um, I'm pretty sure that he's got a pretty strong Michael Golden influence also. But it's so much his own thing. It's just amazing stuff. And uh, I want to find a, a really good figure just to show you. Like His interlocking muscles are so influential for me. Look at that cape. And actually, you know what? This is a great shot for, for both of those things. The way that he has his muscles defined interlocking and the way that he's he's defining them just with these kind of triangular shapes uh, and uh, rendering out of them perpendicular to his lighting is exactly how I do my lighting. And it's a really, really big influence. The way that he's got his rib cage there, I have drawn rib cages with his influence for my whole career. Uh, and while I've copied a lot of his folds, I have tried this. This is, it's so stylized. It looks incredible. I could never pull it off. Uh, so I finally had to let that go. I love how it looks. I just couldn't make it work for me. And that happens a lot of times with, with art. You find that, you know, some things really work and you integrate it. And then some things you just can't make work. That is such a great Batman figure. Look at that. It just has so much character. The hands are so great. Uh, I mean, that's great. You know, and this is, again, I'm just in the beginning of this book. This is a huge, thick book. And it never wanes. The work never gets any weaker. And when he was on, he was talking about deadlines a lot and just how important it is to meet them and how unforgiving uh, it was at the time. And so the pressure that he would have been under to do this work and the quality they maintained is, uh, you know, it's untouchable. It's really, really amazing. It's one of my absolute favorite books. So, yeah, there is the book of the week for this week. This is Batman by Doug Mensch and Kelly Jones, Volume 1. And uh, if you can find it, and you should be able to, I'm sure, uh, highly, highly recommend it. It's a very, very thick book. There's so much great stuff in here to, to look at. All right. Thomas Springs says, you sound tired, Meredith. And then Navy Shark says, Thomas Spring, that's how she always sounds. Yeah, it really is. Actually, I, I would say you sound more chipper than normal. Yeah. Well, I had my vitamin IV last week, and it's made a difference. But I I sound tired, but there have been a few voices on the stream tonight that seem like they're a little down. Yeah. And I know this is the time of year that can really be hard for some people. So I want to put out that um, if any of you are feeling really down in a, in a, in a not good place, then please reach out to myself through Facebook. You can DM me or Eric or, you know, we're here for you guys. And I would never want somebody to say something on the stream and, and feel like it was missed. Um, Cause we have a lot of people who read the stream and, and, and we see the comments um, and I want you guys to know that we care about all of you. So if you're struggling, please reach out to us or reach out to someone. At this time of year. And the good news is that the, Winter solstice is only 10 days away, and then the days will start getting longer again. <laughs> that would be nice. And that will be nice. Connect Draws has a super chat for $1.99. Y'all, I'm finishing the Grinch today. Nice. Um, what does he mean? The movie? Is he doing a drawing? Or? Maybe the, I don't know. It's, I'm finishing the Grinch today. Maybe he's drawing the Grinch. He's been drawing the Grinch. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, that's awesome. So that's what he's doing right now. Yep. Not Warhammer. I see how it is. And Connect Draws has another super chat for Donna. And, and I've been up since 12 a.m. and haven't slept. It's going on <laughs> almost 24 hours. Oh, man. Get some sleep, Connect. You can only do that when you're young. Nobody's pulling that off. Mm -mm. 
Yara Delane says, I'm a single father and live in a city I'm not from to raise my daughter. I don't really have friends, so I enjoy every Monday because it makes me feel like I'm not so alone. So thank you, Dave, Meredith, Eric, and all. Well, we are very, very glad to be here with you. And Leon Leclerc says, CNC is machine metal cutting. There you go. So you were right, Dave. You've been right about a lot of stuff lately. I don't know when you got so smart. Well, thanks. Just like the more, the older you get, the more wise you become. Right. It's craziness. Yeah. It is a, I was the smart one when we married. Now it's the shoes on the other foot. <clears throat> you know, lots of stuff. Yeah. I know stuff. Uh, so it's, it's nine 11. I'm still working on the drawing for this. I haven't even gotten to lighting yet. That's how this one's going. I mean, I'm having a blast. I love drawing this kind of stuff, but it's a little time intensive. You're not going to get this one finished. You're not staying up all night. Mr. I fell, I fall asleep down here at my desk every night. Something's got to give. Uh, you may be the smart one, but I'm the wise one. How about that? Okay, you know what? Yeah, yeah I think so. And I do want to paint it anyway. Yeah, so you do what you can do till 10, and that'll be what it is. Till 10, 20, all right. Till 10. 20, okay. Rich Ware says he's been sick for four days. Let me tell you, I've been up for four days, six a dog. Let me tell you, we, whatever's going around this year, it's going around like and it's it's not one of those like oh i'm sick for a day it really is hitting people hard it is yeah yeah i've been feeling the effects of the last time i got sick well over a week ago still like i still have a bit of a cough I can still feel it uh it's been ages i mean i'm fine like as far as it goes you know if you're gonna have a, a lingering cold it could be worse but yeah it's really stuck I'm pressing so hard with this thing, I'm bending the tip. And so it's kind of, you can see it's splitting. I, maybe you can't see that. It's a little lighter there it's because it's splitting because I'm, I'm not being very good with my pen. I've got a lot of these. You can get these refillable. It never seemed to make sense to me, though, because I trash these so badly all the time. I thought, yeah, I won't be refilling them. I'll just be replacing them. Artsy Bible nerd says they call it a triple demic. <laughs> yeah yeah there's a you get sick and then you think you're done and then yeah it's you're just you're just boring. not yeah. yeah this cold hates us i hate that i'm making up some of the detail here but i just cannot see it in my reference so i'm, I'm kind of having to adapt a little bit so yeah apologies again if i'm not getting it completely 100 percent accurate but you know what there's a lot of different Warhammers out there. This is, is it's your version. It's my version. Connect draws as a has a super chat ugh, as a super chat for dollar ninety nine. And Connect just got an iPad. I hope it has an Apple Pencil with it, Connect, so that you can draw with it. It's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, it's great. Definitely. I got an iPad. I lost it to our son. Yes, right away. I had it for a week. You had to know that was going to happen. Uh, yeah. Well, I had a coat. I lost that. I think he gave it back, though. Our what older son steals all my clothes. Our younger son steals all my electronics. So you got the coat back because you're no longer wearing it. Yeah, that's actually, you know what? And this is what's happened. So I have a coat that I, I got last year, the year before. Anyway, it's a nice coat. And he stole that and was wearing that everywhere. And I finally said, it's fine. You can have it. Well, then he didn't want it. He wanted the coat that I was wearing. And so he took that one and I said, that's fine. You can have it. And I got a new coat. And now he doesn't want that one because I'm not, it's yeah, it's out of control. He only wants it if you're wearing it like a child, Yeah, which he still is, even though he's 19. 
Allison McGlone has a super chat for four ninety nine. dollars Allison says, let me know if you want to do a serious sci-fi book. I can definitely write the science. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Allison is is uh, an MIT graduate. So, yeah, she knows her science. I did not know that either, by the way. We talked actually quite a bit in, where were we? Rhode Island? Rhode Island, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. I say, I say that Everett is a child, but he went out Christmas shopping for the fam tonight. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that. <laughs> by himself. You got to give him some credit. Ear Delaney wants to know, does anybody know how to unclog a Pentel color brush? Uh, well, I sure don't know. Hopefully somebody in the chat knows. Yeah. All right, time to erase it down. I still have a little bit of detail to add. Actually, you know what? I can see a couple spots where I can see one particular spot that needs a little detail. I'm going to have to get in there. Ooh. Dave, they put Conan the Barbarian back in theaters for its 40th anniversary. Oh, really? We can go out and do dinner and a movie. Oh, you'd watch that? No. Really? I said no. Uh oh. Oh. I'd watch it on a couch. <laughs> oh, um, I'd watch that in the theater again. I don't even, you don't even want me to go. You want to go with Lance. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm not your movie buddy. Yeah. Yeah, me when I thought you were going, that was more me like, oh really? Really? Good. You, you, you wanna go? All right. Yay. <laughs> I hope you don't mind going with the guys. All right. Got a little more detail. It's got a skull right here. Uh, I should be doing pencil on this. But. Oh, there goes water. You know my thing that was that's gonna get damaged there by some water. Wasn't much. He's flaked out now. Yeah, yeah, he's been much better. The problem is, it really is a good forty-five minutes of the stream where he's and normally running around. Normally, it's it sucks. Today, it's really sucked. Yep. It's not great. Um, I knew it was coming and he's, he's been fine, but he's, he's been very needy. Um, so yeah, I couldn't just say, you know what, you need to leave him upstairs. All right. No, he, could, I, he, he comes down every time. He's hopefully, like, why am I not down there with you? Hopefully, by the time we get another puppy, uh, we won't have another puppy for years. Yeah, hopefully, it'll be a long time. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and start blocking in my shadow here and uh, hope for the best. There's always so much detail that goes into these. And when you start throwing in a shadow, a lot of times it's, you know, what detail you're going to keep, what are you going to lose? Like, all in here, uh, I'm going to make this dark. And what I don't want to do is lose everything that I put in there, but in a way I kind of have no choice. So, but not putting it in, it just ends up with something very floaty. I'm sure you can see why a picture like this, for me to do really tight, like this is a sketch. For me to do this tightly like a cover uh, would take me so long to make all of these lines really uh, nice and clean and crisp, but you know, it's a, it's a big time commitment and I enjoy doing it, but yeah, I think it would take me, I don't know, take me a while to do this. You have another super chat from connect draws for $1.99. Connect says I'm 21 by the way. Oh, there you go. Well, well have fun. Yeah, for sure. If it's, your birthday was recently, happy birthday. 21 is so young. You know? It is so young. So young now. One Mighty Artist is my favorite part, blocking in the shadows. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Mike, Mon Mike Montgomery is heading to bed feeling like crap. Thanks for another amazing stream. Dave Merritt, Eric, and Russ. Night, y'all. 
Uh, good night, Mike. Hopefully you feel better soon. <laughs> you might not because none of us have been lately, but it'll pass, especially if you get some good sleep. So good to have you here. All right. I feel like this is a bit of a, um, sometimes these streams really like they just the drawing goes really fast and I feel like it might be a little more entertaining to watch. And then sometimes they're just a little slower. This is a bit of a slower drawing, unfortunately. Yeah, it's kind of boring. <laughs> just cause I say it, you don't have to agree. It's so boring. Right, Princess? Chris Burks has a super chat for 499. Dave, what's your and Meredith's favorite song or band right now? P.S. I just love you guys. God bless you both. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Yeah, thank you very much. My my favorite song right now? Yeah. Um, wow, you know, that's... I, okay, I probably have to... I, I can't say a particular... No, I can. My favorite song right now is Island in the Sun by Weezer. Just makes me happy. And I like heavy metal. Uh so, you know, Weezer is not really my normal kind of thing, but I don't care. That song just just makes me happy. I'm actually a really big Weezer fan lately. Maybe my tastes are changing a little bit. So I listen to K-Love. That's my radio station. By the way, K-Love, yeah. for all of you that don't know, which is everyone, is... Uh, Maybe it's, that not. People might know what it is. Is K -Love, Well, K-Love would just be local, wouldn't it? No. It's national. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, some of you guys would know then. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's all Christian music. And so my favorite song right now is "In Jesus' Name" by Katie Nicole. Yeah, I can't help it. Uh, yeah, which you it know makes what? Makes me cry every time I hear it. You have to go with what makes you happy. That you stuff, do. not my thing, but Meredith loves it. We play cards every weekend. We play uh, euchre with with friends, and we all take turns with music. Now, we're curtailed. Uh, the guys are very curtailed. Like, for instance, I can't put up Megadeth, you know? So I have to go with basically 70s classics and that kind of thing. Uh, but the women put up everything that they like. They have no... Yeah, so Meredith, every single time, it's another song from Caleb. Hey, I put up, play Dolly Parton, Jolene. Oh, that's right, yeah. I play a bunch of... I play variety, but... <laughs> yeah, not really. I, not, not normally, no. Not normally. I, I play my songs because I listen to them all the time. And there's, I can't think of who it's by. They, they're playing a Christmas Hallelujah, like obviously based off of um, Leonard Cohen. Yes, Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah. And I think Leonard Cohen did a Christmas Hallelujah too, but they have a nice version that I really like right now. Yeah, the, well, I mean, by, the original is. By Cleaver, Cleave something. I can't remember who it's by. Yeah, the original is uh, oh, Dennis, one of the greatest songs of all time. Dennis Kelly says, Meredith Finch, that is my wife and my favorite song as well. Very moving. Yeah, see, there you go. And Luke Forwardson says, I listen to Caleb every day. See, people know my station. Yep. I'm not crazy. I'm not alone like you make me feel. <laughs> I'm not all alone in the world. All I'm going to say is I, I only like things that are you're tough. Just, you're just angry. Like Island in the Sun. <laughs> yeah. You like the angry music. I like a lot of it, but it, you know what? It it can kind of get you down after a while. I have to admit, as much as I like the angry music, I can't do it all the time. No. no. All you listen to is rage, and it makes you feel rage. No, it, it doesn't, actually. It really does not. You don't think so? No, I really don't. Well, I just know when I listen to joy, it makes me feel joyful. So there. <laughs> all right. Artisan1979 says, my grandfather tried to teach me euchre as a kid. I never could master it. Uh, well, I uh, I have never mastered it either. I never will. I only, so we, we play teams. I am never on Meredith's team. 
And the reason that's for that, so that we can stay married. That's right, because I am not good at euchre and I make mistakes all the time. So my partner does not care really whether we win or like you know, he does not care. And if he did, I yeah, I'd be driving him crazy too. Like I, I constantly I don't renege. I've gotten so basically if you make a mistake, I don't renege anymore. Right. What that means for those of you who don't play euchre is uh you can you can misplay and there are instances where you have to pay, uh, play a particular suit. And if you don't do that and then you play that suit, late, a suit later, it's called reneging and you lose. Anyway, I don't do that really anymore. But I do make strategic errors all the time. Like the amount of times I've got my cards and I've got two different cards to pick from. I don't know. You know, and I know there's a rule for whatever. And I just don't know. And I'm never getting better. Oh, you are getting better. Don't sell yourself short. Ah, thanks. You're welcome. I still won't play with you, though. No. No, it's all right. I value our marriage far too much. Yep. <clears throat> My computer keeps, I don't, I'm sure you can't hear it on the stream, but it keeps making noise. Do you know what that is? I still have my Premiere Pro. So I was editing the video today, uh, getting it all finished, and it's still open. And it's just even sitting there, it's taxing on the computer. I can hear it go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I need to get it uh, exported and sent out. Dave, Adam Meyer asked me if I mailed out the winter sketches yet. Do you want to take that one? You're, you're throwing me under the bus for this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. They're sitting right over there. Oh. I keep saying, bring them up. I don't know I know. Where they are. You don't like me going rummaging through your office. No, you know what? Uh, totally my fault. It, so this week I was so focused on getting the video finished. Uh, I was going to paint with Eric last night, and I ended up not doing that because I just wanted to get that video done. And uh, we went to a Christmas party last night. By the time I got back, I was so tired. I got nothing done anyway. So, yeah, not the best. But... Um, uh, that and the contest winners, I really wanted to make sure that we had that sorted out and ready to go. And I totally forgot. So yeah, we'll get that out right away. I'll bring them up today. I know <laughs> how many times do I say I'm going to do something and then I did. this one I will do. It's coming. I keep badgering. Yeah. Yeah. For once, it's not Meredith. Usually it's Meredith's fault. Always my fault. Santa Reyes has a super chat for $10. Space Marine is looking superb. It's nice blend between a human figure and mechanical stuff. It's really fun to watch, and I like hard rock. My favorite band is Starset right now. Starset? I am not familiar. I'm going to have to check it out. I've had quite a few bands, actually, that I've heard from on here and listened to later and really gotten into. So, Eric, okay, I have to admit, Eric, he gave me a band. I can't remember the name of it. Maybe Eric can remember. Anyway, I wasn't my thing. But, you know. That's how it goes with music. You just you never know. So I'm lighting this figure from here, which means that this arm would be very dark, but I don't want it to be totally dark. So I'm kind of cheating the light around it a little bit and hoping that it works. This is the kind of thing there when, when I go for a painting, I could really run into some trouble with too. Like I'm going to cast a shadow from his hand here. So I worry like, mm, am I doing something that's going to be really difficult for me to figure out? I'm just going to go with it. I find when I try to draw for painting, like with the painting in mind, I end up drawing so stiff versus just drawing and then worrying about it later, you know? Make sense, Meredith? Yep. Good. Dogs up. Yeah. I'm just going to go dark here. When in doubt, black it out. Uh, yeah, and hope Let's for the best. Sort the rule. Well, you know, it's such a good rule with a pencil. 
with ink, once you've blacked it out, fixing it is such a problem if you need to. It's not good. So I, yeah, I'm just kind of going through and just blocking um, where it seems like it'll fit. I want to finish his fingers. I've got a lot of things to finish, but I find the more things that I just go around and kind of block, the more the smaller things start to make sense and I can just kind of fit it all together. That's always my plan like that. I want it to be dark. I'm fearful that it'll flatten if I go too dark behind it. Anyway, whatever. We just go with it and see what happens. So Samuel Reyes shared a link of a star set song on the Finch Block page. Oh, nice. Which I'll play for you. Okay. After the stream because we might get copyright struck. Yeah, nobody wants that. If I played it on the stream. So thank you, Samuel. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. Well, Meredith will play it for me. So thank you. I want this whole deal to be dark here, though. Dang it. Jim Klein has a super chat for $10. David Meredith, with holidays coming up, do either of you have any sites where people can purchase merchandise, prints, classes, etc.? So some support to you guys when gift shopping. Um, no. Can you buy the Money Night Draw book through Essential Sequential? Oh yeah. Uh, okay. I'm not sure. We only printed so many and I know we sold that out of our convention copies a while ago. We didn't have many. I don't know if Jason actually has any. We, have to do a second printing. we talked about doing that. Yeah. I, I, okay. I, first of all, I want to organize the second book. I have not started doing that yet, but I've just had so much stuff going on. So that's coming. It's going to be after Christmas ultimately, but that's coming up pretty soon. The Kickstarter for the second book, I can tell you right now, is going to be very different from the first one. Uh, it's going to have a lot less tears. There are just so many things that were very, very difficult to um, to make happen. And I don't want people to be waiting forever for something. So uh, some of the, the tears that we had, I'm going to keep it a little more streamlined this time just so we can make sure to get the books out. Um, we should be good in terms of, this should be shadowed here too. I'm going to cast a shadow all the way down through here um we should have no printing and shipping trouble like we did before i don't think we'll see well now that i have my finch farm logo i can get finch farm merch yeah there you go Anybody wants to walk oh out? you know what i do have merch from the web I, so i've got my t-shirt yeah there you go you can get it so there's a link in um all the videos to uh, my, I think it's Teespring. So there's there's that. I do have that. I don't have a lot for sale. I mean, you know, look, truthfully, <laughs> I know that the whole point of having a YouTube channel is to monetize it. I'm not trying to monetize my YouTube channel, not really. I really enjoy doing this. I think it has, it has so many intangible benefits. Um, not the least of which is just really I okay shouldn't even say not the least of which the intangible but the intangible benefit from it is the community that we have it means a lot to me I don't actually really I, I, that is what I get out of it and uh, I was trying to sell some stuff a while ago and I'm not a business person I couldn't keep up with it and I just found you know what I enjoyed doing the channel it really was never about that so I just let it go Yeah, so if people buy a t-shirt, it's so they can have a t-shirt, not... Yeah. Yeah, I, I think with the way that they pay, <laughs> you know, it's not... A, yeah, but anyway. Oh, and Dennis wants to know, will the Finch Flock pin be in the shop at any time? Why don't I ask Jason about that? Yeah, now that's super popular that pin. And uh, yeah, that's one that, that Jason put together. A lot of our uh, Jason put together the coolest merch. Like our coolest T-shirt is from Jason. It looks so good. Um, so I, yeah, I need to talk to him. Maybe this is stuff he could sell on his site. Yeah, because he's actually good with. He's actually awesome about mailing stuff out. Yes. Well, he also lives thirty States. seconds away from FedEx. That and, and he lives in the states. Yeah. So I mean, that makes it easier. It does, yes. Because shipping from Canada is the whole border customs thing. Yep. So. 
I. <laughs> oh, and Sammy Reyes wants to know, Dave and Meredith, any idea where we are in things like script reviews? So Jason was supposed to reach out to me again because he sent me an email, but I couldn't find it. Those are the, the script reviews and the phone calls are the last part of the Kickstarter on our end to be fulfilled. Uh, well, right. and chickens. And the chickens, but Jason has to get me that. Okay. But it is something that is yeah. still there. Yeah. So, yeah, that stuff is, and this is what I mean. Like, actually, I'm going to text him right now. Yeah. Just where I, I feel like we're falling short on some of those things, and I don't want to be in that position again of doing that to you guys. So, I, yeah, I'm definitely going to not do quite as many things so we can make sure that we actually do the things timely in a timely way that we say we're going to do. I just keep throwing more and more shadow on this because now he's got his shadow coming from here. And I'm desperately hoping that this doesn't just turn into, I shadow this way all the time. I'm afraid of just blocking in a huge shadow across something. So I slowly kind of work up to it. You keep talking while I type. <laughs> all right. So yeah, this should be dark, I think. And then just a little bit right here, but that wraps around the form. So it should go that way. All right. I think that's going to be all right. I should not have gone dark with the bottom of his gun, but that's something I can kind of fix. And I say that because I want it to pop out and I feel like it kind of flattens the way that I did that. And this is always, this is really, the nice thing about pencil is I can always just so easily go back and fix it. Um, whereas with, with ink, it's a little tougher. I mean, I can fix it and I will, but it's a bit more of a challenge. All right, there you go. I emailed and texted Jason. All right. He's pretty on it. Oh yeah, he's, yeah. A lot more than we are. Oh yeah, we're not on it at all. Adam Meyer has a super chat for five dollars. Dave, this is turning out amazing. I would love to see a version of a transformer. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I've said a couple times. I don't think I want to do a transformer because they're so hard. It would not be harder than this. It really wouldn't. So I, I should just go for it and do it. See what I can get. Lance Boyer says I wear my flock shirt to every convention. That is awesome. I miss Lance. I have not seen Lance all year because I didn't go to Toronto. I'm going to be in Toronto next year. So hopefully I'll see Lance then. But yeah, I haven't seen Lance all year. I think the last time I saw him was, well, it was last year. It's been too long. And we didn't have the shirt then. I did see uh, JDSCT. Uh, he had his on. It was very, very cool. And uh, so did um, uh, Dan Genovesi. If you were, yeah, if you were nursing that thing. Oh, Meredith, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm really not. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I looked up and I'm like, what? You have, Normally, you're practically done by now. You have any idea? <laughs> what you opened yourself up for? Uh, I knew going in, this is going to be a. Uh, uh, Big challenge. Yeah, there's no two ways about it. Like, really, I could just hack this out. Even hacking it out, it's it's a, it's a lot. But what do they say? If it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Right? Right. 100%. looking at me like what are you doing i'm reading the stream start JDSCT talking man. says gotta represent the finch shirt yeah see there you go and then allison is having a discussion with Rose six about emergent space time and stuff that smart people talk about <laughs> getting stuff distracted by that it's all beyond us 
<clears throat> fire bad. Dennis Kelly says, That's Meredith Finch, I asked science. earlier, but right before Book of the Week. But this is my weekly. Please ask if you guys to add the Dragonborn, a.k.a. Dova Killen, to the stream list. Dova Kin. Dragonborn. Do you know what he's talking about? Um, Dova Kin. No, I actually don't. Google it. Hold on. What do we do without Google? Uh, yeah, yeah, ruining good, healthy bar arguments ever since 2007. It's from the Scrolls. Oh, okay. Didn't you play that game? Yep. I'm not good with this names. Guy. I forget things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a deal. You don't know when. But yeah, I'll definitely do that. Guys, oh, awesome. no. He's is from Skyrim. It's the same thing. Okay. I mean, exactly the same. No, but it's it's basically the same franchise. Okay. They've got a new one of those coming out too. An Elder Scroll? Yeah, like a, yeah. Um, which I love. My only, okay, look, my complaint with role playing games is this people talk, and then you get a dialogue box, and then you respond, and then they talk, and then you respond, and they talk, and I just want them to shut up so I can move on. And it just seems, it feels like it goes forever, and I get a little frustrated. That's my only, you know. Isn't like having to read when he's playing his games. Yep. Stream maybe says I wear my flat shirt all the time. That's awesome. Yeah, me too. I've got three of them actually. I've got two that that I have up on the website, and then I've got the the one that I got from uh, from Jason. So. I'm going to be drawing this forever. Yeah. It's never going to stop. And you know what? I, I can't go too much faster. And I'm still blocking. Like, this isn't detail. Detail is a whole other phase. This is what I'm saying. Um, I'm just looking at, like, it's like, your pen keeps moving. But nothing seems to happen. You might want to grab a bigger brush. <laughs> it's not the brush. A bigger brush wouldn't help me. It really is not the brush. It's just the nature of drawing this kind of character. I would say this is why there have not been... If there, uh, in, And again, I'm actually not sure. So, you know... Uh, don't hold me to this, but I don't know of Warhammer comics. It, I'm sure they have. Been. I'm sure it's happened, but it's not such a common thing because it is so difficult uh, to do this. Um, you know, to try to draw this to a, a monthly schedule and forget it. There's just no way. Certainly no way for me anyway. Jim Klein has a super chat for $20 US. Wow, Dave, thank you, Jim. Jeez. Since music came up, any tips on for giving art a punk rock energy a la Tank Girl, etc.? If you're looking for a good punk band, I've been getting into Animal and the Sniffers. And don't forget to remind people about the Proco course. Oh, yeah. We have a Proco course. Oh, bye. Yeah. Thank you, Jim. Jim's the best. <laughs> yeah. I have a Proco course. You go to proco.com and it's uh, all in storytelling, and so uh, you know it's it's me drawing uh, some comic pages. There are two of them up now. There's one more coming. Uh, it covers a whole lot of ground. So yes, I have that. And thank you, Jim. I keep forgetting. And um, uh, it, what in the sniffers? Um, Amel, Amel, and the sniffers. A M Y L and the sniffers. It's a great name. I'll have to give it a try. I, I would say okay. So, so in terms of of drawing. Um, like Jamie Hewlett, 
I, I personally really recommend um, one of my absolute favorites. He's, he does uh, Batman White Knight and, you know, he's working on a mainstream superhero book and he still managed to make it punk rock. And that is uh, Sean Gordon Murphy. He actually did a book called Punk Rock Jesus, which uh, has not been my book of the week yet. And I've actually had that one on deck for a little. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. That's coming. You know what? Let's just do that next week. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's such a great book. So yeah, uh, I recommend him for sure. Um, uh, Dusty Star by Andrew Robinson, I really recommend. Uh, and a lot of those feel like there's a Jamie Hewlett feel to them. Um, whether they're influenced or not, I, I, I really truly don't know, but I feel some of that kind of energy from from that work. So, and then there's you know uh, Peter Baggy Baggy. Uh, and some of the, you know, the um, underground comics from the 70s. That stuff was pretty punk rock. Dan DeSantos called me out. He's like, your pen keeps, because I said your pen keeps moving, but nothing seems to be happening. Yeah. It's like so hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing my best. Doing my best. It is. It's a lot. All of you guys that draw, you know what I'm going through right now. It's not easy. I mean, I'm having the best time doing this. I really am. But yeah, uh, it just, it, these kinds of drawings, they take the time they take and you just have to be patient. Meredith is not the most patient person on earth. And it's, it's always a risk. I, like if I corner myself and do something that I can fix it, but it, it's, it, you guys have seen me try and fix stuff that I've, I've shadowed out with, with uh, heavy shadow on the stream before. It's not easy. Like the hand from last week. So I, I was drawing um, the green power ranger and his thumb was not good. And that was just a thumb. And that was so hard to fix. It's entirely because I just on the stream, I just never have time to, um, let it dry properly. So as much as I can, I try not to make mistakes when we're doing the stream, just, um, because they're hard to fix. Kella Serena says, Meredith, moms don't have time for patience. That's true. <laughs> that yep. is truth. Right there. People who should be the most patient don't have time to be patient. Oh, you talk about moms are patient, but you know, there's a limit. That's what it comes down to. What you're seeing is the limit. And when you have teenagers, they know how to push it. Teenagers, toddlers, husbands. Yeah. yeah. Slander. No. Never. Patience is a virtue. It's, it says Nicholas Hughes. It's actually a virtue I pray for often. <laughs> I'm like, dear Lord, I pray for patience. And unfortunately, you know what that means? He gives me many opportunities in which to <laughs> practice patience. Oh, JDSCT has reminded me. Psst, Meredith Finch. You got to tell the chat to smash that like button. And he is not wrong. 407 likes. I'm number 408. What number are you? Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already because 314,000 people know something you don't if you're not subscribed, which is Dave is awesome. His content is awesome. And there's no greater teacher on the internet today. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks. I can say that because I'm married to you. Yeah. You didn't say it about yourself. Right. You're humble and kind. Yeah. Yeah. For the record, I, I did not go ahead and claim that. You, you, I know you wouldn't claim that, but I will for you. I really, you know what? I, I'm, I'm hopeful that you guys like the new video that will finally be out tomorrow. What's it about? It's about drawing clothing on dynamic figures. I need to figure out the title for it. So it's a little cleaner than that, but um, it's one thing to, 
uh, learn folds, that kind of thing. But to be able to, you know, just draw a random figure in a random pose and then clothe it uh, is a real skill. And so that's what the video is all about. Uh, so I, I've got a couple figures in there that I, I draw in uh, just enough anatomy to make sure that the clothes have something to hang on to because you don't want to draw clothes on nothing, which I see way too much. Um, and uh, then I do a little bit of lighting and then I go into actually Eduardo Rizzo, who is my uh, go to artist for really, really interesting uh, clothing folds done in a really simple way, but very, very effective. He is so good. He's so good, so good for so many things. But I do a couple examples from him, and then I show an example of Joe Casati using, he does phenomenal uh, folds, obviously, uh, straight out of his head, but he also uses photo reference uh, sometimes, and just the way that he mixes that together, uh, it gets such a superior result. So I wanted to just show a couple of examples of that at the end, and anyway, that's a video, and I do hope you guys like it. I feel like it's a little dry, truthfully, as I'm watching it back, so we'll see. Sometimes the videos where I'm like, I don't know, this might not be my best, uh, do well, but. Allison says you should call the video Dress Up. <laughs> so, Kella Serena says, never pray for patience, pray for peace. There you go. Because <clears throat> when you pray for patience, you get plenty of opportunities to test your patience. But. If you pray for peace, maybe you just get peace. Uh, you know what? God knows what you mean. He does. I do mean patience, but I should pray for more peace. You should. And Eric Grove says, Meredith spitting facts, saying that you're the greatest. And Chris <laughs> Burke says, it's true though, Meredith. Tico, T-I-C-O says, agreed. All right. Thank you. You guys are the best. Yeah, because you're the best. We're the best because you're the best. All right. Waiter Shush Hater is here with a super chat for $14.98. Hello, Dina. I'm finally back from our wedding and honeymoon. Missed y'all. I'm glad to be here after Singapore Comic Con over the weekend. Had a booth there for the first time. Loving this Mecha Warhammer art. Hater. Ah, well, that's awesome. I hope you had an amazing honeymoon, Hater, and congratulations yeah. on your newlywed life. Yeah, congratulations. And it's great to have you back. Psychopomp says, how about upgrading your wardrobe as a title? <laughs> I, look, it's not a terrible title, but the problem is I do feel like it might give people a bit of a different impression of what the video is yeah. about. It could get a ton of views, you know? Good. Like Just makeup, the wrong kind of views. Teenage, makeup videos. Teenage those things, girls. Yeah, those things do gangbusters. That's what I should start doing. I'll start doing, I'll put on makeup, you know? No. Nah. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to do a black it out, Dave. <sighs> All right. Adam Meyer has a super chat for $5. I'm understanding your process better at this slower pace. Really enjoying this stream. Cheers. Oh, well, great. Well, thank you. Yeah, it is the same process. It's just... Um, it's all hard shapes, and it's the shapes are just so much more complex that, yeah, I can't just burn through it uh, the same way. Like all of my shadowing in there, I really, really wanted to try and think it through as well as I possibly could instead of just blocking that in because uh, that just creates more problems than than uh, than it helps. Barbarian says, I was the first to hit the like button tonight. He was like number one. Congratulations. Awesome. That's pretty cool. You're mm -hmm. the first. I still have my statue from Barbarian too, which is great. If you guys haven't seen it, it's going to be on my uh, Instagram. I'm going to post it up tomorrow. Uh, I just haven't been on Instagram. I, but, uh, yeah, I want to get that one posted. And you can actually check last week's video. Uh, I showed it quite a bit. It's an awesome statue of Blight, my uh, character that I created for the channel. I was telling Meredith I want to do a comic of Blight. Like maybe a painted comic. I know I, I think I've said this before, but I would like to do it. Hater says, thanks, DNM. Honeymoon was great and a great time away from work for sure, but did not stop me from drawing, though. I feel your wife's pain, Hater. 
I, have we taken any trips, Dave? One trip in the entire time we've been married. Yep. Where you did not bring our work or do work over the trip. And that does not, and that includes our honeymoon in which you worked. You, you have our honeymoon to. was actually two conventions back to back. You do have to appreciate though. And you know this. Um, I go crazy if I don't work. It's not good for anyone. I do, I do appreciate it. And I'm like right there with you when I'm working too. You know what I mean? Like it's not like I'm I'm just going, hey, I'm out and I just disappear. No, you're sitting beside me on the bed. So yeah, we're watching TV in a hotel. At the end of the day, yeah. I get a little, you know, because come on. It's not so bad. Chris Burks has a super chat for 499. Hey Dave, Venomize Superman. I think it would be very rad. It would be. I like that idea right away. I have not. I, I did a painting of Superman for DC. It was for, I think, Superman 700 or it was like a special issue of Superman. I did a painting, but that's a long time ago. That painting went missing. It, yeah, it did. It sold and uh, it disappeared. Never to be seen again. We've yeah, never in found a hotel it. hotel room in San Diego. Is that what? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I searched for it for so long because I thought, you know, there's no way. Like stuff like that doesn't really go missing. But yeah, it's gone. That was 2010. A long time ago. Yep. So I've got just a little bit more shadowing to put in, and then I can start putting in some detail. Oh, detail. Good gravy. This is what it is. Now, I do want to paint this one, so, you know, maybe I'd be better off to actually not put that in anyway. Maybe. Put the detail in with the paint. You know what? Uh, I'm not going to totally... Well, I don't know. Let me let me think about it for a second, because I am going to paint this. Um, Eric might paint something different. We'll see. I'll have to see. Eric, you're going to paint one of these, you think? You want to give it a try? If you say no, it's okay. You can paint something else. Maybe Dan will do one. How awesome would that be? Dan DeSantos, you know. Anyway, he says, I might paint one of those too. It looks so fun. Oh, you should do it. Kenny Wing's painting, so good too. He has such a smooth uh, stroke with his, like he's, he's very, very, very good. And yeah. Dan DeSanto says, I'd love to paint with you again. Well, definitely let's do it. I noticed he didn't say Warhammer. <laughs> I actually have time again, finally. Oh, that's great. Yeah, Dan was under um, a really heavy deadline for a long, long time. So it's great that he's coming out from under it. <clears throat> I've never seen someone as dedicated as Dan with time time process like he's, he's yeah he's what we all kind of aspire to be but we'll never get there we're all human beings unlike dan it sounds worse than i meant it all right <clears throat> so that's my basic block in Whew. eric says i'm up for whatever let's do it all right Send it as Dave's loves to hear. <laughs> uh, that one's this. Uh, well, you can't see it there, but trust me when I say that the tip in this is is way too destroyed. That one is too. Yeah, the Santos says, "LOL, it's true." There we go. That's what I'm looking for. We are Borg. <laughs> he said, "We are Borg." Yeah. <laughs> there you go. See, I knew it. It's, you know what, it's, it's hard to overstate just how important that is to the most successful artists you see out there. The level of dedication uh, that it takes to, to do the work um, at a top level to a schedule, uh, miss out on sleep, miss out on so many different things and, and uh, just get it done. You know, if you can do a beautiful picture, I mean, that's, that is the most important thing to, you know, the quality of the art, but, uh, 
being good to work with and um, being able to hit a schedule, those things are so vitally important to a, a long, healthy career. You know what? I really actually shouldn't be putting rendering on this. I'm going to detail because I want to paint it. And so doing what I did there, it means I'm going to have to cover that with paint. So I need to stick with detail and stay away from uh, rendering, which I'm going to be trying to do much more with paint. I'm so trained once I start working with, with, uh, anything black and white. I, I just think in terms of, of that kind of rendering, so it's really difficult for me to let it go. I know some artists that can do, you know, so many different styles beautifully. I cannot, unfortunately. You're going quiet again. Sorry. I'm doing multiple things right now. It's not good. But to be fair, it's 10 o'clock, at which point my attention starts to wander. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I'll keep my mouth shut, see how much more time we can get here. No time. Oh, come on. Give me a few minutes. Chris Burke says, I need a print of that venomized Spidey. Seriously. I'd like to do a print of that, actually. I'd like to do more paintings and do prints. I got a camera um, to photograph. And so I actually photographed that one. I sent Eric... Uh, we haven't had a chance to talk since I sent it, but I sent Eric a uh, uh, what the scan looked like when because I, I scanned that picture and it looked awful. It really made a, a total mess of it. It destroyed all the colors. Also, it, it picked up some different reflectivity on on different tools that I use. Like I use marker and all these different things, and it just oh, it was a mess. And so I finally just said, okay, it's I'm going to keep painting. It's time to get a proper camera, like a a full frame camera to take good high quality, high res photos of my work. And so I got my studio set up, I got the lights all, everything, you know, and I photographed it. I barely worked with the settings of the camera. Like you can take it so much further and I've seen people do like you, for instance, white balance. You need to white balance your camera, right? Well, I didn't do any of that. <laughs> I just went for it. So it's, it's not white balanced. But I liked how it came out. It was fine. And it actually looks pretty close. To me, it looks like the original. It's not exact, but it's certainly close enough. So I just kind of went with it. Uh, yeah. And I did the same thing with the Wolverine picture. I've already photographed it. I'm going to put it up on Instagram um, at some point. So you guys saw it here first anyway, for what it's worth. Because I can already see how this is going to look painted, Dave. The paintings are good enough for games workshops for sure. Ever tried putting together a portfolio? Time for your art to enter board games. <laughs> uh, you know, it would be very cool. I, I don't have time. This is the problem. There's so many things I'd love to do. Uh, I, I just couldn't. Like, I'd love to do artwork for, like, Wizards of the Coast and, you know, do some cool stuff like that. I've always been such a big fan. Not of the game itself. It's strategy-based, and I struggle with those. But of the artwork that goes with it, I just, I can't. Otaku Samurai has a super chat for $1.99. Hello, would you draw Rogue in one of your streams? Have I not drawn Rogue? You drew Rogue in the first season. Did I? It was one of the very first ones you did. Okay. I mean, I would do it again. Yeah. But it'd be a, a fun one ready, to do. Ready to repeat things yet, though. Yeah, no. And there is, we were talking about, a, oh, we were talking about doing After 99, which is my uh, character. By the way, I, they're upstairs. I'm not going to run and get them. But they just got reprinted in France. Uh, beautiful editions, nice hardcover editions. Uh, so I got a couple of copies. So, yeah. Dave, do you have a. A reasonable ending point there? Uh, another five minutes. Okay. I'm doing five. Give or take. Nope. No, no give or takes. 
The winner takes it all. Thereabouts. Don't make me beat you. You know what I want this to look like? Simon Bisley's ABC Warriors. It's it's almost like you have like a Simon Bisley filter in your brain. I do. You can't it just look like Dave Finch. Uh, it, look, it ends up looking like me anyway. I mean, if I can make it look Not influenced by uh, Simon Bisley, that's the goal. Right. But, uh, yeah. Look, I, I'm not worried about... I want to feel like it's a broken record. But... <laughs> I don't care if it is. <laughs> I'm like, oh, gee, who you want to look like, Simon, Simon Bisley. Bisley. Thank you. That's right. I don't just sit there and copy his stuff, so it's not like I'm ever going to... You know, but you don't have anything in front of you. You're doing it all from whatever you can make yeah. in your own head. Have you already drawn Kratos? Yes. Yep, he's done Kratos. Park of the artist. That was um, this year. Yeah. Earlier in the year, I did Kratos. Uh, yeah, you know, we're getting to the point where I've done everything. I'll tell you. Have you done Thor? No. So there you go. I've not done Thor. That says Dennis Kelly. I don't think I'd ever, I've ever seen Dave do Thor. Yeah, no. And look, I love Thor. I would drawing Thor. I would want to do the uh, Walt Simonson version, ideally. I want to do a very Walt Simonson inspired Thor. Henry Jeremy says, "Dave, I'm surprised you knew about Simon Busy's ABC Warriors. Good for you." Henry, have you not been paying attention? Is there a bigger <laughs> Simon Bisley fan in the world than David Finch? I don't know that there is. He's obsessed with Simon Bisley. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially uh, since he started painting. Oh, I have been for years. I know. And actually, my obsession with Simon Bisley came before the painting. Uh, it was his black and white stuff on Lobo and, uh, well, Lobo, really. Um that that made me a big fan initially and that was a huge influence on my black and white work uh, i was a huge fan of the painting too and that was actually the first thing that i saw from him so, so i guess i'm lying when i say that it was a painting first but his black and white art is a huge influence for sure and i think that's why he was such a successful painter uh i shouldn't say was is such a successful painter uh because he's his black and white art it was so strong it um, it really set him apart from a lot of a lot of painters that painted beautifully um, for comics, you know, uh, but didn't have the same level of of just interesting, you know, crazy anatomy and and the cartooning that he had. Like he had a lot of a lot of skills that uh, made him what he is. Adam Meyer has super chat for two dollars. Adam says Skeletor. Uh, yeah, you know, Skele I you did a Skeletor painting. I did, but never on the stream. I've never done anything for uh, Master of the Universe, and then that would actually be uh, that would be a lot of fun. All right, you got three minutes. Three, okay. All right, doing my best. And you have to know right now, there people are just shouting out suggestions. Yeah. Land Strider mashup of Spider Ham and Death Dealer called Death Squealer <laughs> from Cycle Pomp. <laughs> Barbarians is still waiting on a Death Dealer. I did a Death Dealer. Actually, I put it up on Instagram. I did a Death Dealer in France. Not on the stream, though, and I would like to. So, yeah, definitely. That's another Stag one. Meister says, How about Vangor from DD? Dumbest name says, Draw Saitama. Sait oh. I don't know who that is, but. Um, it might be a Verotic character. So, Xerox. Xerox. Yeah. Okay. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a huge Liberator fan because how could you not be? But I have some very strong reservations about his work, frankly, and I would not do Ragnarok. I hate to say that he's so incredibly talented, but. Uh, there are elements of his work that. So Tim is one punch man. <laughs> yeah, that would be a lot of fun too. All right, one more minute. Okay. 
Oh, it's sorry. It's pronounced and it's pronounced Saitama. Okay. Yeah, I'm not familiar. I feel like we we know a lot, right? But I don't. I don't even pretend. Clearly, neither do I. I literally wake up every morning and I, I look at my pillow and there's a little bit more of my brain that moves out of my ears. <laughs> and I'm totally fine with that happening. Ignorance is bliss. That's yeah, what they say. Totally. My kids are going to be feeding me through a straw by the time I'm 75. <laughs> Great. I'm looking forward to that. You know what? I'll still be able to take care of the horses, though, and that's really all that matters. Yes, that's the important thing. It's really all that matters. priorities it really changes the equation when i'm not putting any rendering into this at all all right it's actually going much faster just kind of shoring up my shapes and making it a little cleaner uh as opposed to you know really texturing the whole thing and doing all that it's a very different process i should never render again i do twice as much work that doesn't match dang it all right, Dave. That's it. Cut me off. It's 10 after 10. All right. Everybody wants five more minutes, Ma. See? Five but more minutes. Someone's No, someone's got to draw the line. And it's the mom job. All right. All right. All right. But I'm. you can paint it on the stream with Eric and Dan. Or not. Whatever works for you. All right. Now I do sound tired. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'll stop. Oh, yeah. man, was that ever fun? Man, did that ever take a long time? Uh, and yeah, it's, I, I think there's enough there that I'll be able to work with it. I, I don't think I need to do any more black and white for it to be a painting. And that was really the goal. Uh, this is an underdrawing for a painting, effectively, really. Um, so yeah, there you go. This was a blast. Thank you, everyone, really, uh, that had the suggestion to do Warhammer. Uh, I can't believe I haven't done it before. It's awesome. So yeah, I can't wait to to bring this further. So yeah, um, everyone have a great week. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm repeating myself. <laughs> all right, we're going to say good night. So yeah, good night, everybody. thank you all for being here again. Mom. <laughs> all right. Good night, everyone.